I'm here with Nick Epstein, a publisher of Nick's Comics. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, very well. Can you tell us uh, about a few titles that you publish? Sure. I uh, publish uh, Nick's Comics Quarterly, which is a uh, uh, horror and humor anthology. It's got a lot of punk rock themes running through it. I used to be a record store owner, so most of my books have some sort of music thing. And in fact, I, I sell them in record stores more often than, than, than I sell them in comic stores. So this is, I'm a little out of my element here today. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. And uh, how about the, b the books that you, you write personally? Uh, I, I have my writing in all the books that I do currently. Um, you know, I'd like to, to, to expand more and include more writers as I go. Um, you know, it, it's, it's kind of money and time is, 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 is what leads up to that. So uh, the, the, the books I like writing the best are the quarterlies because each one's like a, each story, and there's about five or six per, book, per issue, is like a short, twisted fable, you know, and that, that's really what I like, like quick morality plays with a little bit of a, little bit of a sick twist to them. And you have uh, some uh, comedic-based stories also in that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think, uh, I think that goes hand-in-hand hand with horror, horror a lot of the times. So I, uh, I think sometimes the, the modern media gets so serious and, 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 and self-referential that, that they can't take a joke. So I, th I think good horror includes a lot of that kind of humor going into it. Um, you know, and also I, I'm I'm a huge fan of things like Roger Corman and and, and, and camp sci-fi movies like Killer Clowns from Outer Space and that kind of thing. So so I definitely bring that that element to it as well. Um, and then there's some stuff like like actually my western I do a western as well, and I, I keep that actually pretty grim um, and and a lot more dark than than the horror tales for what that's worth. What is the future for Nick's comics? Like, what do you plan uh, to release in the future? Well, I plan to keep doing the quarterly and keep doing the western. Um, right now, I'm running a Kickstarter actually, so I can try to um, pay for a whole year of comics in advance. Uh, I, I always pay my artists in advance, and I try to have enough money on hand to always pay the printer in advance. Um, and that's really the only limitation to what I can accomplish. I, I could put out ten comics next year if I had the money to do it. So I'm hoping that uh, that people see the value in what I'm doing and how I treat my artists well, and how I treat my fans well, and they come in and, and subscribe to Nick's. You know, I'm asking for a lot of money, but I think if I got 300 subscribers, which doesn't sound like a lot, I could, I could make that happen. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, and I hope uh, Nick's Comics has a very uh, financial, profitable future. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.